Good evening, everyone. Wow, that mic is hot. That is a hot mic. Hold on. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Wow, it just went like the little bar went red. But anyhow, welcome everyone to another Lumber Tech N2 video where I am on my solo base once again. And if this is your first video that you've ever seen, hit that like, comment, subscribe button right now because I know that the first five minutes are like the most crucial point to say that. Uh, and you're not gonna find con content like this anywhere else. Um, but it's your choice. If you wanna subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Your choice, your life. Um, what am I doing today? I have no clue. I have no clue what I'm doing on my base today. Um, but I figured we still have a lot of these, uh, these roof thingies over here that we need to get up onto the roof. And I don't even have all of these like moved over yet, but I wonder if I can move these while I talk, which is the majority of my channel. I mean, that's, that's what I do is I chat and I like to talk. I like to hear the sound of my own voice. That's why I do YouTube videos. <laughs> okay, let's see, can I? Oh, that was nice. So, <clears throat> on Lumber Tycoon 2, you have the freedom to build and basically do whatever you like inside the game. Um, lots of options for builds, lots of options for hanging out with friends or just going and doing the lumber thing, you know? Um, me, personally, I do all of it. Um, this is the first time on the solo base that like I have to go and get my own wood and my own money to purchase things because normally I get a lot of money and a lot of gifts and items from everyone else, from all the fans. So that's one of the main reasons I went and created this base was just to hang out on my own and not be bothered by anyone, you know? And I still have friends that can come inside and and hang out and stuff. But I tell them, whenever I have this base loaded up, no help. You don't drop anything on my base. You don't give me any money. This is a purely solo base. And the reason for that is because there's still a lot of public servers that just I don't want to go into and too many things happen, exploiters and bad stuff. Anyhow, I know the feeling. So if you're willing and if you want to, you can play on a private server all by yourself and you won't be bothered you totally can <laughs> it is a possibility so that's what we do is we come in here and we hang out and we play um, a lot of you might be watching Twitter recently and I don't know that a lot of you know who Bob Saget was Robert Saget um, he played Danny off of um, Full House, which was a big part of my life growing up. <laughs> now, um, he, oh gosh, I can, I can get rid of those. He was found today, um, deceased. And I don't, I don't want to like, I don't want to upset anyone, but at the same time, I don't want to come out and, and be like, oh no, there's no such thing as death. Death doesn't happen. It's a truth. It is a very real thing that very little people talk about. All right. And whether you've experienced death of a, a family member or death of um, a pet of some kind, the reality is we, we end. There is nobody who is immortal. Well, yeah. <laughs> and I don't want that to be a scary thing. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people, they always worry about what's going to happen after I die. What, what happens? What, what is after death? But hardly anyone ever thinks, Ooh, what happened before I was born? What, what happened before then? So whatever your belief system is, whatever you believe itself to be before life, after life, whatever the point is, stop. Okay. It'll, it'll get here eventually. The point is to enjoy life and to celebrate life. And that's what here on my channel I try to do. I try and explain that like without coming right out and saying it. That's the way I believe, you know? And I don't know why this little piece is like so small. Actually, let's just go ahead and get you, 
get you completely off the base. That way you don't save again. There you go. Bye bye, buddy. <laughs> Anyhow, I wanted to say that Bob Saget was a huge part of my upbringing just because of Full House and like I watched all the series and seasons and that was back before we had DVR. So you actually had to wait each week for uh, the, the video to come out or the, yeah, the series, the sitcom, whatever you want to call it. It was different. Saturday morning cartoons were actually Saturday morning cartoons and not just streaming somewhere. You had to time your bathroom breaks in between commercials. And if your mom said, it's time to eat or it's time to go to school, like you, there was no pause button. You missed it. It's a very different world. I'm, th I'm thankful. I'm very thankful for the world that we live in right now because I get the ability to pause videos and and upload videos and like this would have never been possible in the 90s, you know, going and creating YouTube videos. I mean, I'm sure we had something along those lines, but not near the popularity or the fun or the commission. And I'll, I'll be honest, a lot of people get onto YouTube like, oh, you're cheating the system, you're doing this, you're doing that, the logarithm sucks. I want to say thank you. Thank you to YouTube for coming up with a platform and coming up with a, just a, an idea. Because, I mean, I do get paid. I'm not going to lie. I, I get commission off my videos. And it's a very, very nice thing to have. Again, I never thought I'd get to where I'm at now. And congratulations to myself, 139,000 subscribers. Thank you. That's, that's you guys. You're doing the subscribing, so I mean, I can't be like, yeah, that was all me, I did it. No, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. People are like, well, Cody, it's because of your content. I mean, that's why we enjoy it. Well, that's great. I mean, honestly, um, I would probably, I would probably still do this for free. I mean, it is, it is not my main form of income. It's not my uh, supporting, it's a it's a supportive income, you know. It's not the main one. My wife works. I work full time. Got kids. Just the way it works. Normal human being coming out here and human bean. I'm a good bean. Um, coming out here and playing, having fun. I want to get into more than just lumber, though. I want to move away from the Roblox area and start doing some VR because I found ways to like hook up my VR and, and do different videos. And before you go commenting, no code, don't quit Roblox. I'm not quitting Roblox. Stop it. I can just see the comments now. I'm going to get letters. I'm going to get letters like, code, oh, I've watched you since I was 12. Don't ever quit. I'm not quitting. Calm down. <laughs> mm, always happens. Every time I mention something like that. But, you know, I want to expand. I do want to go further in the career of video game making and everything else. PAX East is coming up. I wanted, to, I wanted to mention this. PAX East should be coming up in April. And if you haven't bought tickets, tickets are on sale now. And no, this is not sponsored. They don't sponsor me. But I do go to PAX. And I will be there looking at all the cosplays and checking out all the new indie video games and if you don't know what it is i don't know what to tell you it's pax east it, it, it's huge p-a-x um east and yeah you can absolutely buy some tickets and plan a trip um if any of you happen to be going already and i have not heard about it dang it that was too low <sighs> now i gotta get up there dang it um, post down in the comments. Hey, we're going. All right, and then uh, if you do go to Pax East, we can we can absolutely um, set up some kind of like meetup. You know, go go out and grab some lunch or something. I'm willing to do that for fans. Love doing that. Oh gosh, how am I supposed to get up there? <gasps> I've not given my way my myself a way to get back up to the top. Hmm. I guess I could just use this again. 
Oh, shoot. Dang it. Yeah, just drop it. Just drop it. Just drop it. This is very unstable. Yoink. Boom. There we go. Now I should be able to move this. Oh, wait. I can't move that. Get that down. There we go. Move. <laughs> should I start at the other? Yeah, I'll start at this end. That way. Boom. Our roof is almost complete. I'm going to have to make another run for some gold wood because we still need the, uh, the side panels to the top. And then we're going to need to fill all that in. I don't know how we're going to do correlated stuff, though. Correlated? What's, what's, what's this kind of wall called? Correlated wall? Hold on. What's the, the walls? Come on, walls. Corrugate. Well, corrugate. That is a weird word. If you have that kind of word on a spelling test, I'd, I would not expect to uh, pass it myself. Like, spell corrugate. Uh, C O R A L. Coral. A gate. A G A T E. <laughs> a lot of people put emphasis on uh, schoolwork and being the best and everything else. I want you to know. If you're making straight A's, you're accelerating. You're, you're like, that is not the average. The average is C's. Okay. That's why there's a C there. And a lot of schools have gotten away from the uh, A, B, C, D, E, F system. I guess there's no E. But that's what it was back for me. And I got mostly A's and B's. There's a couple of C's in there, but I mean... When it came to college, that changed. It was it was weird. It was this weird transition because I graduated high school and then went into the Marine Corps. So college didn't come until later. And I think it was after unlocking my uh, ADHD powers. You know, I struggled a lot in high school with ADHD and with uh, just acceptance. And what's strange is now that I'm a dad, and I see my kids going through kind of the same stuff that, that I went through. It just, I don't know. It makes me proud to know that I can explain to them why the ADHD does what it does. And yeah, you feel weird sometimes. You feel like an outcast. You feel different. But at the same time, you can unlock abilities. You, you have... A very smart brain okay so if you have ADHD and you're watching the show right now if you're watching this video and that is not helping you know what we're, we're just gonna go up here know that you have a superpower all right don't think for one bit that you don't actually have a, a superpower because it's true Wait, what what why can't I throw this up you know what throw it there we go okay if we put this down at the end of the hallway and point it up like uh, like that, does that light up? Yeah, that'll work. GG. <laughs> I think that's that's why. A lot of people ask me all the time, Code, how can you still play such a boring game? I think it's a it's a self medication for my ADHD to be coming in here and, and playing each day. It really is. It's like a, it's kind of like busy work. Um, how would I explain that? Um, it's simple. It's elegant. And I don't think it was ever meant to be. I think it was meant to be like this building experience on Roblox that other users could come in here and, you know, just express themselves through creativity and imagination. And I kind of took and ran with that. And the only reason I got famous for it is because I started doing videos that you didn't have to read a notepad the entire time. When it came to like explanations of things, I actually had a face cam. I actually had a mic. And even though the microphone sucked on the first videos, it was something. 
that wasn't written, you know, and I, I truly believe that's what took off. So for everybody out there that's all the time asking, Code, what can I do to be a better YouTuber? I don't know. I upload every day, be honest to your fans, and do your best, you know? I, I think that's one of the biggest things about my channel, honesty. Just be honest with yourself and with who you are. Because, like even right now, I'm recording the video, you're watching the video, and that's, that's gonna be like 12 hours from now, but I don't put on a character. I don't scream and jump around into the microphone or curse loudly. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of curses, so um, my children are allowed to buy a bad word. And what that means is if you like walk around the corner and you stub your toe really, really hard, uh, you bought it. You, you can let one slip. Um, hold on. I'll wait until we get to the top of the, the volcano. So, um, a new deal <laughs> that my wife came up with, because uh, what's been happening is Ollie will ask to say a bad word a lot, even just for like frustration reasons and stuff like that. And when he does, like when we say, yeah, go ahead, he chooses the worst word in his repertoire. And with a little bit of imagination, you could probably imagine what that bad word is. So. Um, what she's done is said, look, there's another word, and uh, I'll just give a hint. I don't want to say it on the channel itself just because, uh, oh, here you go. Uh, it's the word that Cineac uses a lot in his earlier videos that is still restricted on my, my videos. Um, it's not a cuss word in England. There you go. Um, anyhow. She made a deal with him and said, hey, look, if you want, you can start using this word infinite amount of times. You can use it freely and you won't get in trouble for it. <clears throat> we're like, okay, okay. But you never get to buy a word again. So when, if you want to use this word for frustrations or, or um, upsetness, whatever, whatever it is, you can use this word, but you can't buy any other words. He agreed to it the other day. I'm sitting here going, okay, this is this is gonna have an interesting topic, interesting results. <laughs> so, sure enough, he uh, he bought the word and he's used it, and no more buying of the bad word. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I just want to say there is no manual to parenting. All right, so kids. If you're watching this, if you're under the age of 13 and you're watching this, you probably shouldn't be, but I'm not gonna scold you for it. If you're under the age of 13, go to your parents, either like pause the video now or afterwards and go say thank you because it's hard. I, I don't think any parent in the world be like, oh yeah, this was easy. That dude, I had like 10 kids and just easy. They had manuals for each one. There is no easy parenting. It's hard. You know, it, even if you have prepared the, the path and done everything possible to be ready for a child, you're still not ready for a child. There's always something. And parents, if you're watching this, tell me. Do you agree or do you not agree? Because I will tell you this right now. Hope was an easy baby. Okay, she uh, she slept throughout the night, all through uh, being a toddler and stuff like that. And Ollie came along and just broke us. So there's there's something to be said. Um, my wife she had really wanted three kids, like three was the number. 
It's a magic number. Schoolhouse Rock. Um, but... Oh, gosh. <sighs> medical reasons prevented us from having a third. And... I still agreed. I said, you know what? It, if you want, we can still adopt and take on a third child. And now, stop. In the comments, I know that's that's going to get wrong and people are going to be like, God, adopt me! No, that's not how that works. <laughs> um, we'll probably adopt somebody that doesn't have a computer. <laughs> or doesn't have the privilege of a computer. Oh, gosh. That is not fitting on there greatly. Okay, hold on. Anyhow, um, I thought, dang it, I thought about it for a long time and I'm okay with adopting a child, you know, I don't think we'll adopt a baby, I don't, I don't want another baby, dang it, I just lost both of those, you know what, you know what, here, you come across, we'll go sideways with these things. Is this too long to, to fit like this? Come on. Get in there. It's too top heavy. That's what that is. Hold on. Chop this up real quick. But yeah, um, we want to adopt. You know, Once the kids move out and we're a little bit further along in life, absolutely. We'll go and adopt a child. And give that child all the great opportunities of being weird just like me. Just like us. And I'll admit it. I'm weird. And like I said, there's no manual to tell you how to be a good parent. There's no manual to tell you how to be a bad parent. But we can definitely look, look at examples throughout history and through the internet and be like, yeah, I don't want to be that parent. And it's hard not to judge other parents and their their parenting skills, you know, especially being this far along. I do it quite often. I'm like, ooh, I wouldn't let my kid do that, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it's just a different way of parenting, you know. So, what a roller coaster ride of conversation, right? I mean, we went from like. One subject to the next, going crazy. All right, let's see how this drives. I may have found a better way of picking up um, gold trees. I wonder if Defaultio will ever release the gold axe. I think it's just for his friends and uh, his peeps. If, you, if you've never seen the gold axe, there's images of it on the internet and stuff. But for the most part, yeah, you're you're not allowed to pick it up. And if you do pick it up, you're like insta-banded. Insta-ban. Ooh, okay. You know what? That should be good for now. We'll just, we'll just go ahead and... Ooh, don't fall out. Don't fall out. I do need to announce that uh, Saturday was our last movie night. And a lot of people are thinking, oh, it's because uh, the copyrights and the code got scared. No, I was never scared of it. And I know the rules. I did family movie night for one purpose and one purpose only. COVID hit. And we weren't allowed to go to friends and family, and a lot of us were in lockdown, and isolation just set in. It sucked. So, as like a token of, hey, come over to my house and watch a movie with us. That's what I did. I set up the, the movie nights to do that, to do just that. And... It was never intended as a, like a, a bad thing, like, oh no, it's copyright strikes and stuff like that. And movie nights still happen all over the place. Discords are still doing them all the time. It doesn't make them right. If you're performing a movie night and you're displaying a copyrighted material, such as, let's say you're watching adventure in games with your, your buddies inside the, the stream. Discord's policy is straightforward. You are not allowed to stream anyone else's intellectual property. Period. 
which is covered by their copyrights at the beginning of the videos and Netflix and all that good stuff. So, straight up, you can't do it. Oh, I guess I can carry one of these down there while I'm going. You're not allowed to stream. But, again, that's not the original reason that I did the, uh, the live streams, or the, the movie nights. The reason I did them is to find family. To, to not feel so isolated. To give parents and kids a place to go to hang out and have a regular weekly place to chill. It was family friendly videos, like all the time. And it was fun. We had the chat open and we could uh, talk to each other. Just such a good, wholesome thing to do, you know? But the reason that we started it is also the reason that we ended it. Lockdown stopped, people started going out, you can go to friends and family's houses, you can go to the movies. And although there might be some restrictions to it, the time has changed. All right? So, instead of um, keeping it going, which I probably should have shut down the movie nights over two, three months ago, whenever we came out of lock -in, lockdown. I think it was the right thing to do. It was the right thing to do for the Discord at the time, and it was the right thing to do for the kids and for us, you know? So, it's sad. It, is, it's, it was, after that last movie, my daughter just hugged me, and my son didn't care too much, but she's like, this is so sad. I'm like, yeah, kiddo, it's, it's a sad thing, you know? is a sad thing to have but glad we did it and it was good too it was um, the greatest showman that was the last one that we did oh so good I feel like the greatest showman is a great testament to diversity and acceptance that's how I feel I don't know how you guys feel it could be different you'd be like I hate that show but I'm also partial to musicals not like Phantom of the Opera or anything, just musicals in general. Holy cow, 27 minutes of me just talking crazy. Get out. Jump up. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Okay. I was worried there for a second. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, get in the car. Get into my car. We'll see. Turn. Turn. These are so much harder to control than the, uh... Just do it! Okay, let's rotate it and then turn it. Okay, we're gonna have to rotate, rotate. Rotate. Rotate again. What is that? Oh, no. There we go. Yay. No, turn. Turn. Turn again. Turn. Dang it! Okay. <laughs> Skills! <laughs> Everybody hashtag skills inside the comments right now. Do it. <laughs> By the way, I think I put a t-shirt out on uh, Teespring that just says skills on it. I don't remember that I... like. I don't think I put a logo on it or anything, but... If you want a Code Primate t-shirt, check out the link in the description down below. I think I've got, got it in the description down below. I don't know if I've got it in the description down below. But you can find the link on CodePrimate.com. So... Either way, either way. If you want a t-shirt, you don't have to get a t-shirt. I don't make much profit on the, that merch stuff anyway. Although I should. I should be pushing. You know, I should be like, Go buy Code Primate! Subscribe to the channel! I need subscribers! But then I'd be like all the other YouTubers. Which is no fun. No way. I don't want to be like them. They're weird. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I won't call anybody's names out. <sighs> no, I believe everybody should just do them. Like, you do you on YouTube. If you want to go and promote your merch and, and cross-platforming and all that good stuff, it's good. It's a good time. Me, I'll be right here. Chilling. 139,000 subscribers. 
a big leap from my you know, original goal. I told myself, you know what? Just get 500 subs and then you can quit. It'll, it'll be a nice thing to say, like, yeah, I got 500 subs. 500 subs came and gone a long time ago. So, I've hit my goal. I'm good. Anything now is just a, a bonus. Thank you. Ooh, is that gonna go in there? That might be too long. That might be oolong tea. Ha ha ha, it's just skin. Is oolong tea good? Has anybody ever tried oolong tea? Yeah, that was too long. Come here, come here. Silly gooses. We got lots of gold. Nice. I guess we can just sell the access. At the excess. Alright. Let's try this again. Will you or won't you? Don't you think the Fatio's cool like me? <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Come on, come on. That's 31 minutes. Man, man, these videos go so go, go, These videos go so by. No, these videos go by so fast. It's just crazy. That's all. Oh, come on, buddy. Why is that one not moving? Hey, hey, little guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you stuck? What are you doing? Is it still rocking out? Is it, are you still moving? What is going on here? Huh, can I pick it up? Oh, I can pick it up. It's finished. Okay. It's not near the length that I thought you should have been, but... Okay, we'll go with that then. <laughs> Alright, we have uh, one last little piece, and we should be good. That's not going to fit in there by itself, so we'll chop it in half. And first piece goes in, come on, boop. And second piece goes in, boop. Should be soon. Just some little loafs. That's going to be a little bit bigger loaf. Boom, there we go. I think we're all set up for next time. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe down below if you want. There's no pressure. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon. Outro. <sighs>